Thank you. So 16 states from Syracuse to Sacramento have filed a lawsuit this week to contest the president's national emergency declaration, arguing that the move violates constitutional separation of powers. Trump had anticipated this move, suggesting that he expects the case to be taken up with the Supreme Court, but not before hitting the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit, a broad jurisdiction spanning much of the western U.S. that is not known for its friendly stance towards the Trump administration's controversial policies. We'll have a national emergency, and we will then be sued, and they will sue us in the Ninth Circuit, uh, even though it shouldn't be there, and we will possibly get a bad ruling, and then we'll get another bad ruling, and then we'll end up in the Supreme Court. The newly elected Attorney General, excuse me, the newly elected Attorney General Letitia James is the most recent AG to file a lawsuit to block what her office is calling a, quote, fabricated emergency and unlawful diversion of congressional appropriated funds. In a press release this week, uh, Attorney General James said, Declaring a national emergency when one does not exist is immoral and illegal. We will not stand for this abuse of power, and we will fight using every tool at our disposal. James's office also said that Trump's failed promises that Mexico would pay for a wall on the southern border were all part of a hyped crisis that exposed the dishonesty of his actions. Thanks so much, Tyler. So how do voters feel about this? You know, what's the, what's the feeling among them? Yeah, that's uh, that's a pretty good question. I mean, at this <laughs> point in time, a new NPR poll shows that only 36% of registered voters are in support of this, okay. whereas uh, a, 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 a whopping 61% uh, disapprove. So I think people are not very happy. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, wonderful. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks, guys.